rest of this week looks summer like we had record breaking temperatures today, likely cooler weather moving forward, but still well above average. So even when we cool off, we're still feeling the summer heat next five days or 10 plus degrees above average and heading into October we will be in similar territory. Lots of sunshine and warmth all throughout the week. Uh, now we are going to cool off just a little going into tomorrow. Uh, we have on satellite radar a cold front uh, that went through uh, throughout the course of the evening. It didn't really affect our temperatures much outside of allowing us to cool off a little quicker after that afternoon heat and in general we're going to be down about 10 degrees compared to today. But when we are in the 90s uh, for high temperatures, a 10 degree cool down likely still means the 80s ahead. High pressure overhead. That means lots of sunshine throughout the week. Not going to see any kind of rain anytime soon. Later this week, we do warm back up again, so there will be a rise in the temperatures. We'll get a little closer to 90 degrees, but likely falling short. So today should be the hottest day of the week. So for tonight, down to 54 under mainly clear sky because of those northeast winds. We did cool off some tonight, so this is going to feel a little more fall like. Uh, but as we head throughout the day tomorrow after a cool start, warming up quickly, we'll be back into the mid 70s by the time we get to noon under a bright sunny sky. And by the afternoon, that sunny sky results in a high of 82 degrees, still well above average for this time of year, even though we're cooling down from the 90s. Look for winds to switch direction to out of the east. Eventually they swing to out of the south bring the warmth back. By the time we get to the middle of the week, you can see over the next couple days, even tomorrow, still close to 11 degrees above average, more like 15 above average. Later this week, Friday rounds out the week, still feeling summer like, and there is this little cool down going into the weekend, might be feeling much more like October as we head into early next week. But up until that point, it's all about that summer warmth. And with all of the sunshine, with all the warm weather, uh, the allergy forecast definitely holding strong at a moderate so at least it's not all the way up to high levels the next couple days, but those plants, they're still growing because of the uh, bright sunny conditions. So ragweed, grass, definitely the big pollen, uh, or at least the big allergens uh, as we go forward over the next couple days. Uh, now with all this sunshine and warmth, how is that going to affect our fall colors? Because it definitely still looks like summer across the state line. Uh, it haven't been great so far for fall colors. Uh, we definitely had a warm spring, but very dry, which is not something we would need. Uh, definitely a hot summer and very dry, so uh, definitely half of this equation uh, as we went throughout the summer months. And lately, we've had the sunshine, but very few uh, cool nights. So as a result, fall colors may be only about half as vibrant as they usually are because of the conditions over the last couple seasons. Uh, we do, after a long week of summer heat, cool off. Uh, we have a chance for rain going into the weekend, back down to near 70 by next Monday. And your most accurate 10-day forecast could have the 60s on the horizon next week. So eventually we'll get back to some fall cool weather. In the meantime, it's all about the summer heat, including today. Managed to just hold on to the 4-degree guarantee with that high of 90 degrees. Uh, we are looking at the cash total up to 10 days in a row, 130 right now. Tomorrow's forecast, 82, Evan. Thank you, Alex. Coming up, T.